Pete, how's uh, how's Michael Thomas look just in the last couple of days of having the practice? How yeah, it's been it's been nice to you know have him out there doing some things, and uh, obviously, you know, he's been such a productive and big part of what this offense is about. So we've been real uh, real excited to have him out there and uh, doing a good job. I know you kind of touched on that, and I know it almost sounds like the obvious, but but what it, having him, I mean, that dramatically changes things that you can do, and just because you have a playmaker like that, a wide receiver, all right? Yeah, I think yeah, well, obviously, just you look at. Like I said, you just look at the production over the, you know, the last, you know, when he's been out there and been and playing and how, how he's just such a, you know, for us, um, you know, he just creates that opportunity for the quarterback that you're so confident that when you throw the ball, you know, he's coming down with it. So it's, it's obviously been uh, a great pleasure to have him out there and going. Okay, just being around James, do you get a sense of like how much this game means to him just to come back? And There's no doubt. Was I think. No one would ever question his passion and love for the game. I mean, he is all football, and um, you know, just coming back since the, you know last year and just every minute of his time that he could be spending to get himself where he's been at right now has been just all football and all you know taking care of his body. He, we made a, a lot, a bigger deal about the quarterback and receiver issues last year. You know, personnel issues, but how? How much does it help your job having a healthy offensive line going into this season when, when that was so depleted by the end? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, every guy that's in the building, they're here for a reason, and you just know during the course of a season that, you know, injuries are going to come up and issues like that. But it's it's uh, it's been pleasant to have those guys out there and, and uh, you know, just getting really the 11 out there and going. It's been it's been, it's been been great. Have you, have you kept the same, like, game planning process that you guys operated with under Sean, you've made your own tweaks to it? Uh, I think that um, I would say for the most part, it's what I've been a part of for the last however many, 16 years. And then, uh, you know, Dennis has made a few adjustments to the schedule, just but nothing uh, that would be out of the ordinary as far as just offensive game planning. We, we're pretty much on the same schedule, same track, and uh, um, just a few tweaks here or there, but nothing major. So you're like the same like uh, quarterback meeting night before the game? All yeah, everything, yeah. Everything, yeah, everything with that, as far as that, that will, will stay the same, yes. Was the job a little easier this week just because it's an opponent that you're familiar with? Obviously, yeah, I think obviously game. first game of the year, uh, you're always. I think every team in the NFL has got to be ready for something maybe that you haven't seen. Maybe they're doing a little something different. So I think you know that's wouldn't we wouldn't be the only team that's expecting that. But obviously, um, there's some familiarity with the opponent. Yes. Obviously, you and Sean probably got a lot of similarities. Is there anything about your philosophy that you would say is different than is that you're? Well, kind of really I don't think about? I don't think really the philosophy has changed. Uh, the belief of what this uh, you know this program's about. I think that a lot of stuff you know hinges also on who your personnel is and what they do well. And so there's some new faces in the building. And so obviously, um, you know, putting those guys we feel in the best position. What's the quarterback comfortable with? But as far as the overall philosophy. Um, you know, every game's different. How do you, there's, a, there's a plan of how you feel like you can win this game that Dennis lays out to the team. Um, but overall, the core values are the same. How, how big of a difference is it just, and I don't know whether it suits your personality or not. I mean, you can comment on that. Whatever happens with the offense, if it's good, you're going to get tons of credit. And if, it, if there's trouble, you're going to get all the scrutiny. That well, didn't happen before. Listen, but. well, I just think this. I think that we have a great coaching staff. Yeah. And listen, when uh, asking about the process throughout the week, I mean, those guys, you count on those guys, and, and we have a lot of guys that are, have been in this system for many years, and so obviously, um, you know, it's just not one person putting together the plan. Everybody's got their area, everybody's got their concentration, and, and by the end of the week, we solidify it and feel pretty good about where we're at. How comfortable do you feel like Jameis is right now? Do you feel like he's closer to that 100%? Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know if you're talking more about the offense or what, but our... Well, yeah, I won't comment about it. I mean, but I feel uh, we're full go ahead, so I think he looks uh, looks outstanding. How much just how much different is your your day to day now that Sean's gone and you're kind of the you know, well, I'd say we, we we get done a little bit earlier yeah. uh, because you don't have to, you know, he's got his head coach he ha or had his head coaching responsibilities that sometimes you were caught up waiting for some things to get started. Uh, so I would say that I get home earlier. Are you doing a lot of the same things, though? I mean, is it is it drastically different, a little different? Um, I would say that, again, the uh, it's, it's what I've been a part of for the last 16 years, and so that's what my you know familiarity is with. But I would say that, again, we've got a few new coaches on staff that have bought some ideas. We've got some uh, different personnel guys playing, and so uh, 
uh, you know, you adjust maybe to them a little bit. But again, the overall uh, core of this, what we are, hasn't changed much. Is it really collaborative with, with all the coaches? Like Cody Absol and them kind of? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, you know, you count on, uh, you know, Doug, Zach, Dan, Joel, those guys are all working with the run game, putting, you know, all the situational stuff with the, anything that you talk about with the run game, those guys are doing. And then, uh, you know, between myself, RC, uh, Cody, and, and um, DJ, and you got, I don't want to forget anybody, yeah. but Bob McNell and, and, Dan, yeah, and Dan as well working. But all these guys, you know, have their areas of the pass game. We all get together, we all have ideas, and it's just kind of, you know, narrowing that, down that list to, the volume that you can do for a game. And, uh, you know, when we leave out of that building and everything's stamped, everybody feels good about what we're doing. You've heard a lot of high praise about RC from a lot of different coaches, but do you mind sharing your thoughts on what you've seen from him over the course of these years and his expanding role? I think he's an excellent football coach. I think that he, um, from a not only just the X's and O's, but technique and, and fundamentals of the quarterback position, you see him do a, um, you know, something that we haven't done much, a lot of individual periods and individual work that he's doing with the quarterbacks and footwork. I think he sees the whole picture. I think he um, himself is ready to call a game and be a coordinator. I think he's just outstanding and he's going to keep rising. Steve, we've heard Dennis talk in, in high praise about Alvin Kamara's camp, and, he, and to him, he said this is the best he's seen it probably since he's been here. Do you, do you kind of share that same sentiment? Yeah, I think, he's, I think he's had a great camp, and I think that, um, you know, his peers – and his, you know, his teammates voted for him for a captain, so obviously he's um, – but I think, you know, he's always been a smart player, and I, I would say that, you know, my expectation is always that he he's one of our best players, that he would have a great camp, but he did have a great camp. So now that your kids are growing, now that your kids are growing up, your work-life balance is better? They're still asleep when I get home. <laughs> <laughs>